In this video, I found the perfect ice lake and I built my giant solo base on it. And well, the rest of the server hated this base. And I had to defend it multiple times from angry raiders trying to take this ice lake away from me. Unfortunately, as I joined the server, the ice lake was already taken. No. Bro, this was like, look at this fucking ice lake. Like, that's perfect. And then there's this shitty base on it. But I was ready for this going in. I was already a week late to wipe and well, this was a really good ice lake. Yeah, we're ready that. I wanna live on this ice lake, that, like this ice lake is nuts. Like just look at it. Lucky for me, this base was still in its early stage and it wouldn't be that expensive to get rid of. I put down a small bunker base right down the hill from the ice lake and I started working towards the raid. I would need a level 3 workbench to craft the explosives for the raid. And so I ran the nearby monuments to start collecting the scrap for this. With this I got enough scrap for a tier 2 workbench. But as I was doing this, the people living on the ice lake started to upgrade the base. Oh no. The people on the ice lake is expanding. That's not good. That is not what we want. If they finished the base before I raided them, it would be too expensive for me to raid, and this would be over. I started farming up some sulfur so that I could put that on smelting as I continued farming scrap. What the? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? What is that? Diving, man. <laughs> An interesting way to get my first gun for sure. I used this gun I had just gotten to get even more guns. Bro. <laughs> oh, I hate these new guns. I'm so bad with them. Got a gun at least. That's nice. I started smelting the sulfur I had farmed so far and then I just continued running the puzzles for more scrap. I farmed some more sulfur and then to get the last bit of scrap I did a quick military run. Okay, we have a level 3 workbench. We have the sulfur. It shouldn't be too expensive to raid, like we just need TC and then we can just destroy TC and wait for the rest to DK. Yeah, it's just a, not even a honeycomb 2 by 2 in there. Should be cheap enough. Like, just look at these. Wood TCs. Yeah, this is easy. I'm gonna start by just trading into here. Yeah, we start with, with two C4s. Then we work our way up. Just to see how far we can actually get. I wanted to do the raid using C4s. But for this I would need explosives, and for that I needed more low grade and so I did a quick run over to Launchite to get that. That's fine. That's enough. Okay. We see Forge coming up. <sighs> okay, we can do it. It's probably gonna cost more than two C4s, but I can I can come home and crop some explo. I'm just hoping there's no garage doors because that would not be fun to go through. Yeah, so I'm thinking like, yeah. Of course, I blow in the side with the workbench. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Fuck. I still had one more door to go through. And while I waited for the sulfur to smelt, some counter raiders showed up. Oh man. Can't have people over here now.
great. Yes! Give me that. Real gun. Fuck yeah. Well, that's a, that's a GG on that face. <laughs> Probably should just let them kill me, honestly. Because if I kill them right now, base is gone. No, 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 no. Oh, I did not see him. <laughs> oh my god. Eventually, these people left me alone and I could continue the raid. Okay, let's go. You have to be kidding me. 7 HP. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of the workbench quickly before I go through the last door. Should be enough. Yep. Nice. Any loot? Oh. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Some sulfur back. Take that. Metal, metal, or metal, take that. Oh man, I hope it's not another door after this. That would suck. Another garage door. But I think there is. Because then they definitely gonna have the time to get back on. Yes, it was enough. Okay, let's seal this shit now. Nice. You're safe. Oh, that's some good loot. Oh. And they're loaded too. Fuck yeah, bro. Sorry, boys. <laughs> I wanted ice lake. So oh, sorry. Didn't have to be like this, but I need the ice lake. Bro, wow. They were loaded. I was not expecting that. I just did this raid because I want the ice lake. I mean, I'll take that, if they want to be loaded too. Yeah, it wasn't a bad raid at all. And with this now I had control of the entire ice lake and I could start placing down my own base. As the base was starting to take form, I started hearing AKs over by my starter base.
No, man, come on. Come on, bro. Some loot, I guess. I'll take that. This was my first encounter with this clan. They lived in a huge village. And I guess they weren't too happy with me after this, even though they got more loot from me than I got from them, they were still very upset by this. And just minutes after this, I started hearing rockets over by my starter base. Wait, wait, wait. Am I getting raided? I think I'm getting raided. No, no, we're, f we're fine, we're fine. The blue, the blue, the wrong thing. We're fine. We got nothing there. I don't think I have wood though to seal the bunker. Fuck. We should be fine, we should be fine. Oh no, man. Please don't go through that. Fuck! This should be kinda safe. Did he leave? Oh no. I'm getting countered. Yes, counters! Please help me! Okay, base should be fine now. With these counters. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, the mountain, man! Oh my god, I don't know how to get out of here. Drop this here. Get that later. No, man. Fuck's sake. I'm so bad with the new guns. Like, the standing up shit is just so annoying. I hadn't really gotten used to the new recall yet, and so it was hard for me to put up much of a fight. On. More? No, man! <laughs> Fuck! I did get the guns that I dropped earlier, and so at least I got something from all this. And after all the fighting was done, I sealed up my starter base. I continued building on my base on the ice lake, getting rid of the last TCs from the old owners. Hey. Then, it was time for me to get some sleep. The next day, as I was building on the base, I started hearing a raid in the distance. Well, that's close.
Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Oh! Bro! Can't carry all this. No! Fuck, get out! Oh! Let's go! <laughs> Bro, we needed this! Yes! Oh! No! Yes! That's right. Let's go. We're out. That was nice. A really nice counter raid. All this loot would really help out a lot. But it turned out the people I'd just taken all this loot from were from the same village that had tried to raid me yesterday. And it didn't take them very long before I found them checking out my new base. No way they found out where I live. That quickly too. What? Ah, uh, man. And knowing a little bit about how these clans operate, I knew it was only a matter of time before they came to raid me. And so I tried to get the base ready for a defense. But they did not make this easy. Well, let me build. Leave me alone, man. <laughs> Holy meds, man. What the? Oh, yeah, it's them. Fuck. Oh, my God. You're in the base now? Went to the toilet. Get out of here. What the meds? Bro, what? Why so many meds? Just leave me alone, man. <laughs> I'm sorry for stealing your raid. It's not that deep. I managed to somewhat finish the shooting floor. But my base was still far from ready for a defense. But I guess this would just have to do. Oh the fuck man. And it's off the compound gone. Nice. Oh, I don't have the walls for this. Fucked. Oh no. We're just gonna have to do this. This is gonna be scuffed, but it should do something at least. I guess they can boost over. Whoa! They're here.
No, man. My base is not ready for this. These are really bottom. All the loot is at the top. So it's gonna be expensive. I did not mean to fall there. Caravan? No! Take that. This horse needs to go. This needs to go too, so we can't get it in. I think it's one left. No! Yes! I think that's it. Do we win? Base is so fucked. No. Okay, that's good. So many back. How many times do I need to kill you, man? <laughs> oh, this place is, was not ready for the non armed raid. I'm doing okay, though. How many people do I need to kill?
Oder hier tippen. Holy shit. The guns. Bro, how many was that? That was like a 1v7. Some random counters with no love for this village helped me clear out the last of the raiders. Bro, come here, bro, come here, come here, bro, come here! He's behind the TC, he's back, legit behind the TC. Nice, good job. Bro, that was nuts. I can't believe we actually won that. That's crazy. Then it was just for me to seal up the entire base, and we were okay. But I now really needed to finish this base. Yay. Ooh. But as I was trying to finish the base, I got a last fuck you from the village. What the fuck? They never actually came back for a round two. They flew past my base on a heli a few times, but this was nothing less than them just being salty of the losing the raid. Hey, we're safe again. But the base is fucked again. <laughs> I could already tell what kind of wipe this would be. And trust me, this would not be the last time my base had to take a few rockets. And so because of this, I spent the next few hours on the server just building on the base. Okay, yeah, base is basically done. I mean, I have a few more turrets to place and some garage doors, but other than that, it's it's finished. And so now we can start having some fun without worrying about pissing someone off and getting raided. Oh. Nice. Take that. I found this base right next to an underwater labs. These are usually pretty loaded, and so I decided to raid it. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, that was such a worth raid. Holy shit. Yeah, this raid was well worth it. Then for the rest of the day, I just PvP'd around my area. Fuck! Bro, I'm so full. Same guy.
Oh, it's so hard to actually win fights this way. I, I, I just take what I can get and get out. Bro, oh, it's so hard. After a few more deaths, I decided to call it quits, and I went to get some sleep. It had been a crazy day, and I couldn't wait to see what the next day would bring. Unfortunately, the next day I woke up to some pretty bad news. Oh no. Fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? I actually raided that too. Oh, and I don't even know who raided me. I can't believe they went to three stone walls just to get that loot and then didn't even greet me. Like, why did they not grief me? They even went through, through this. They went through everything. And even though they had gone through so many doors and walls, they had only blown the bottom of the base. And since I had all my main loot upstairs, I hadn't really lost much. It really drained a bunch of turrets. No way they drained all of them! <laughs> oh, they drained every single turret! How much time did they spend on the offline raid? After fixing the base, I headed out to regain some of the loot I had just lost. That's nice. I saw this minicopter land right down the hill from my base next to a 2x1. Yoink! No, 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 no! Okay, we're good, we're good. Free mini! Putting two and two together here, I figured the minicopter must belong to the people of this base. And hoping to score big here, I decided to raid it.
Oh my god, oh my god. This raid was so worth it. A bunch of guns and resources. More than enough to make up for all the loot I had lost in the offline raid. Then I just spent the rest of the day collecting even more loot. Then it was getting late, and I had learned from my mistake the following day, and I stayed up the entire night waiting for another offline raid. And what would you know, the time was 7am in the morning and a clan flew onto my base hoping for an easy offline raid. What the... So shit on. Of course I had to leave the clan quite a toxic message in chat and I don't think they liked that very much because 20 minutes later they came back for round 2. Oh my god, that's fast! That's four. Should on, only be one left. Oh, it's fucked.
Yes! I think that's all. Bro, that's so shit on. Well, the base is fucked. Again, I had defended. But it wasn't over just yet. What the... No! <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. And again, I killed all of them. But no, it wasn't over there. Bro, <laughs> come on. It's all right. GG. We're good. For the fourth time, I had killed all of them. This was it. They were of course done, and I could finally fix up the base.
please don't tell me we're doing this again. Oh no, but we are doing this again. Same people, this time with a raid base and everything. Well, here we go. Wasn't much I could do during the night time and so I let them rocket my base, let them tire themselves out. And then, when daytime finally came, it was time to start defending. Did you get fucked? Fuck yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yep, that is five back to back raid defenses. And with this, they finally gave up. GG's to this group for all these raids. Even though it started as an offline raid, this was some of the most fun I have ever had in Rust. And after all this, I fixed up the base, and I had gotten so much loot from all this. I was loaded. That's a nice looking box. But I was also finished. My story on this server was over. And I decided to give the entire base to a guy just starting his adventure on this server. Hopefully now he could enjoy the action an ice lake like this brings. Oh my god, what the fuck? You're fucking insane, man. Oh, 
right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. Have fun. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, that was a nuts wipe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you check out some of my other videos, like this one where I foundation wiped a clan's base. Or you can take a look at this one where I took over and walled off an entire island. Come on, click one. You know you want to.